the left side. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be replacing my front brake rotors and brake pads. I opted for the StopTech um, front brake kit for the FRS which is pretty much an OEM performance brake kit. Uh, I thought about doing a big brake kit for the BRZ but I knew that I don't really need big brakes for a car with no power for a car that I'm not going to track so I decided to go with something cheaper something that will replace the OEM brakes on my car and uh, yeah. Now keep in mind this is my first time doing brake pads or any sort of brake job. I've never really owned a car long enough to change its brakes up so this will be my first time doing brakes and I'm learning as I go. I did watch a few YouTube videos before I started today's vlog so hopefully I have some sort of sense of how to do the brakes and the correct steps to take when uh, replacing your rotors and brake pads. Alright, first thing we need to do is jack the car up and get it on jack stands. this aside for now. <sighs> wow, look at that wear. Might be time to flip these soon. Actually, really soon. Alright, put this aside for now. Not too sure if you guys can see this, but after taking off my wheel and looking at it, I do have some cracks in my barrel. Here's the first one. Let's see if you can see that right here. Yep, there's that first crack, and then I have another one right here. That kind of sucks, but it's bound to happen when you're running super stretched tires. All right, now that we have the wheel off, we can start removing the brake caliper. And an easy tip to access the bolts in the back is to turn the hub or turn the wheel to the right. That way we can access these bolts a lot easier. Alright, first bolts we're going to remove are these two 15mm bolts right here that hold the caliper in place. Don't forget to remove the brake line from the struts. So that way we can move it out of the way and uh, have more space to work with. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and zip tie the caliper to my control arm so that way you don't risk damaging the brake line. We'll leave it here for now and then uh, we'll continue on to the caliper. Next, we can go ahead and remove the old brake pads. <sighs> Here are the old brake pads. There are actually is still a lot of life left in these, but I don't know why, for some reason, I am getting a massive squeak. So hopefully by replacing these, the squeaking will go away. I just now realized how dirty this job is, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my watch off and uh, put on some gloves because my brakes are really dusty and my hands are getting filthy so because nobody likes you know dirty hands with the dirt stuck under your fingernails because especially if you work at a restaurant which I do I work at a restaurant and I always work on the car and having dirt stuck under my nails just doesn't really look professional and I'm pretty sure if you were a customer you wouldn't want your server to be serving you food with, you know, dirty fingernails, so. Got some gloves on. We can go ahead and uh, continue on with the job. Alright, so I 
got the new pads right here. Alright, so we can do a little comparison. These are the new brake pads. And these are the old ones. So you can see that I worn down the OEM ones quite a bit. But there's still some life in these, but I want to replace them anyways. Just so I can hopefully resolve that squeaking issue that I've been having when I drive. Alright, with the pads off and the brake caliper off, we can now remove the caliper bracket from the rotor. And I believe these are 17 millimeters, which are right here on the back of the knuckle. Yep, 17 millimeter bolts right here. We'll pretty much take off the caliper bracket and hopefully they're not too hard to break off. Alright guys, looks like we're going to need a breaker bar. Alright, hopefully this breaker bar does the job. Yep, there you go. Yep. Now we can uh, grab our ratchet and take off the bolt the rest of the way. Alright, got these two bolts out. Now we can completely remove the caliper brackets. So I just read somewhere on the internet where they said that you could use the bolt that holds your brake line to the strut to help remove the rotors from the hub. So I'm going to use that for now. I know that it's kind of risky. You might strip these bolts, but I don't really want to run to the hardware store right now and pick up bolts. So I'm going to use this bolt for now and uh, let's see if it works. Would you look at that? It actually works for sure. All right. Cool, got the old rotor off. Now before I put the new rotor onto the hub, I'm gonna wanna kind of make sure that the hub surface is smooth. That way it prevents the rotor from warping. I actually learned this from Chris Fix. If you guys don't know about Chris Fix, you should definitely check him out on YouTube. He makes videos on how to do a whole bunch of jobs for your car and he breaks it down so much that it makes it makes me feel like even I can do it myself. So which is why I'm doing my brakes right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the wire brush and kind of just get off any of that rust and debris that might be stuck onto the hub. Alright, now that the hub is kind of brushed down and smooth, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some brake cleaner and wipe it down. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to use my lug nuts to kind of hold the rotor in place while I grab the caliper but for now you can just use the lug nuts so the rotor won't be wobbling around all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this caliper bracket back in and for these i know that from the manufacturer they do put loctite on these bolts so i'm gonna go ahead and add some loctite just so i can secure the bolts and they won't come out Alright, so I'm gonna add a little bit of thread lock on this. So you're gonna wanna torque these down to 59 foot pounds. Okay. Before I reinstall the brake pads, I'm gonna want to compress the pistons of the caliper. Get this back onto here. I'm gonna reinsert the top bolt for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and compress these pistons. So while you're compressing the pistons, it's a good idea to open the brake cap just so you can release the pressure from when you're compressing the pistons because you are going to be putting pressure back into the brake lines. 
So now we can go ahead and compress the pistons. But before I do that, you're gonna wanna see inside here, kind of peel the boot back and clean the all this debris that's getting inside the pistons. Grab some brake cleaner. And just wipe down the pistons where there's a lot of dirt. So, but... All right, now the pistons are looking pretty clean. As you can see here, not much dirt or debris left inside the piston. So now we can go ahead and compress the piston. Now Christian let me borrow this tool. Um, probably not the best tool to use for the job, but it works. Go ahead and grab my old brake pad and compress these pistons. Okay, looks like these pistons are compressed enough back, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the brake pads. Got the brake pads in. Okay, caliper is back on. Go ahead and reinstall these 14 millimeter bolts back into the guide pins. And then you're gonna wanna torque these bolts to 19 foot-pounds. All right, and that's one side done already. So before forgetting, gotta reattach the brake line to the struts. Okay, the driver's side is now done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with one more blast of brake cleaner. Because as you can see, I was kind of touching it a lot when I was trying to get the uh, caliper on there. So I'm going to hit it again. Oop. I finished one side, the driver's side. It wasn't too bad. My first time doing it, I thought it'd be a lot more tough. But it turned out being a lot easier than I thought it'd be. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the passenger side now. I'm not going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing because I already did that for the driver's side, but I'll do a little time lapse. Let's go ahead and get started on that passenger side. <laughs> Everything is torqued down, passenger brakes are now done, and uh, the install is pretty much complete. Uh, I have to say the install wasn't too bad at all, but we still have to find out if my brakes work. So we're going to go ahead and slap the wheels back on and then go out for a test drive. Pretty good, pretty good actually. Go ahead and uh, bust the U-turn. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I thought that it was gonna be a lot harder than it really was, but brakes are actually really easy. So if you guys are trying to do this yourself or if you wanna do it at home, I highly recommend it because you'll save a lot of money on labor. Uh, at first, going into this, I, th I was a little scared that I might fuck it up and I might somehow cause the whole brake system to fail, but if you're just doing rotors and pads, it's really straightforward, just a few bolts here and there, and it you're done. So, 
that'll do it for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I will be uploading a lot more and I have a lot more parts coming in for my car. So I'm going to keep bringing out content and I'm going to keep building this car even though I thought I was done. But I do have a lot of parts coming in the mail. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you guys uh, want to do this yourself or if you have any other tips, leave it down in the comments below. I love reading my comments. I love seeing you guys throw all this support at me and I will keep making videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.